Now at this point, we want to set up movement between the screens when we click on the links and the buttons available. So to start the process, let's go back to our root stack and ensure that the login screen is our initial screen. So we scroll to the top and change the initial route name to login. Once we have that, we can refresh the app to move to the login page. Now we go to the login file and continue the process. The first thing we'll do is to discharge our navigation from the component properties. So at the point where we declare the function, we discharge our navigation. This value is available because of the root stack that we set up. Now based on this navigation, we want to set up a small function. We'll call this function move to. Inside this function, we'll make use of navigation.navigate to move to the screen that we receive. This screen will be a parameter. Now if we want to pass some data along to the screen, we can do that and for that we'll call it payload. So as a second argument to the navigation.navigate, we pass an object and spread the payload in it. Now this function is ready to be used. So the first place we want to use it is in the handle login function. That is when we press on this login and everything is fine. So after the call to the backend and everything is successful, we handle the movement to the dashboard. So for that, we can just say move to and pass the dashboard as the screen. Yeah, just like so. Now when we click on this, it will not move, but when you put something in the input field, it should move. So clicking on login, we see that we are moved to the dashboard and now we get a back button to come back. Now we need to set up the movement for the new account sign up here. And for that, we'll find it at the bottom of the page. For this, we initialize some empty function. So over here, we make use of the move to function as well. For this link, we want to move to the sign up page. And we'll do something similar for this, so we can copy it. Now we paste it here. And for the value, we'll change it to forgot password. Now clicking on the sign up should move to the sign up page. And also clicking on forgot password should move to the forgot password page. Now let's continue with the sign up page. Before we go to the sign up file, let's copy this move to function. This will be the same on all the pages, so we can just copy and keep on using it. So once we've copied it, we can go to the sign up page. Now at the top, we destructure navigation again. And then just below the states, we can paste the function. Now on the sign up page, our first movement happens after clicking on the sign up. So for that, we will handle it in the handle sign up. At the point where we move to the next page, over here we move to the email verification page. So when we click on sign up and refill all the details, this should move to the email verification page. For the button at the bottom, we move to the login page. So let's locate it and do that. So in the empty function, we'll call move to and then we'll pass it login. This should move to the login page. Yeah. Now let's try and get to the email verification page via the sign up. So over here, we put some details here. Once 
Once we click on sign up, we move to the email verification page. Now over here, after submitting the details and everything is fine, we receive a modal. So this means that the movement will happen within the button handler of the modal. So let's go to the email verification page. On the page, we locate the button handler. Over here, we want the movement to happen only when the verification was successful. So in this if statement, this is where our movement will be. In this case, if the verification is successful, we move to the dashboard. By the component props as well as opposed to the structure navigation. And then just above the button handler, we can put our move to function. To be able to demonstrate this, we need to put some values in the code input field. Now when we click on verify, the model pops up. And when we click on proceed, we are taken to the dashboard. Now let's go back to the login and handle the movement for the forgot password. So we go back to get to the login page. Now we click on forgot password to move to the forgot password screen. Now let's open the file for forgot password. Over here, the movement will happen when we enter an email into the input field and we click on submit. If there is an error, it will not move but if everything is fine then we we'll move to the reset password page so that will happen in the handle on submit function when we call the backend and everything is fine we we'll move to the next page so in this case we'll move to the reset password now to create our move to function we'll first destructure the navigation So above the handle on submit, we can paste our move to function. And that should work. So if we put something here, we can click on submit to move to the reset password page. So now let's go to the reset password file. In this file, hitting submit on the page shouldn't move to another page, but should toggle the model to be shown. Now the movement will happen only when it is a success model just like what we did for the email verification. So in the button handler for the modal, we want to move to the next page under the success condition. So over here, we call the move to function. When we are done with the password reset, we want to move to the login page so that the user can enter the email and the new password. Now we can discharge our navigation from the function properties. And over here, above the button handler, we can paste our move to function. So by way of testing, if we enter some code here, and then we enter a new password, and make sure that the confirm password matches it, we can close the keyboard and then click on submit. This brings up the modal, and once we click on proceed, it should take us to the login page. Now the last movement we need to set up is on the dashboard. That is when we log in with our email and password and then on the dashboard we click on the avatar icon. The button here should log us out and lead us to the login page. But for this, because of the position, it is not a screen and we cannot access the use navigation hook directly. So we need to implement the authentication and when we click on the logout, we have to clear the user details and that will automatically move us to the login page. Ha! Huh. This has been a long ride, but I really like the look of the screens that we've ended up with. We might build a backend for this and connect them together in the future. So let me know if you'd be interested in a video like that. Links to the source code and other useful resources will be in the description below the like button. Thanks for watching.